Hi everybody, I have one last thing I want to show you in ImageJ. Um, and so I have my picture of my bead here. It's already scaled um, to the correct size. But the problem is you want to put this picture in a publication. And when you put the, just a picture in there, nobody has any idea of what they're looking at. I mean, that could be a planet, that could be a molecule, you know, it could be anything. Um, and so you just want to have some sort of reference to what size this bead is. And so in order to do that, in most publications, you will look at the pictures and there'll be some sort of scale bar um, in the corner or something. And so you can do that in ImageJ by adding a scale bar. And the way to do that is use under Analyze. It's a little bit hard to find. It's under Tools, and there's a scale bar right there. So we just click on it. It brings up a menu. It also, you can see it puts in a scale bar. Um, but I'm going to tell you how to maybe optimize this a little bit. Number one, you probably want to pick, I don't know why it picked 0.85, um, but you probably want to pick like a common size. Like, okay, that scale is one millimeter. And we want to think about, we're going to put this picture in some sort of publication. So we're going to probably change the size from what it is on the screen now. So we're going to think about how we can make this able to be seen at whatever um, size it is. And so the number one thing is the font almost will never uh, translate well when you resize it. So I just don't even put the text in the scale bar. Right, just remove it, and that way it's only the scale. Um, what we do with the text is then in the figure legend below the picture, you just say scale bar equals one millimeter, and then everybody knows. Um, also, this is very thin, so I suggest making this much thicker. You know, 16. You know, some whatever size you want in pixels. Um, the font size doesn't really matter. Color, I mean, it just depends on what you like and what depends on the background for this. Like, would you use black maybe white shows up pretty well too right you can even make them colored if you want usually they're black or white though to keep things um, fairly standard and so that's all you have to do to make your scale bar if you just hit ok it's there and then when I go to save this image I go to file save as and I know you can't see but I'm going to select PNG uh, because that's what it was in the first place and so I'm actually going to put scale is one millimeter in the file name that I save. Okay, that way I'll remember because now there's no indication of how big that thing is. So in the file name, I go ahead and put the one millimeter. But that's how you can add a scale bar. You have to do that for your reports because you're going to put example images of your beads in your reports. And so having a scale bar there will kind of give us an ability to see um, the relative size of your beads. And this is something you're going to have to do for any uh, published results. You're going to have to be able to put a scale bar on your images. So it's a great skill to learn.